So we're gonna win one thing for sure. Lowest dino numbers ever produced. Yeah, have you had any lower dino this? numbers than this? Dino. Oh, bicycles. <laughs> A few months ago, through a series of strange circumstances, I tracked down the exact motorcycle that I learned how to ride on. Not only did I find it, but the owner gave it to me because it had been sitting for 13 years and no one wanted it. It had been deemed not worth fixing. And to be honest, it probably wasn't. But with $83, me and to be honest, mostly Craig, the super mechanic, cleaned everything, replaced everything that needed to be replaced and got this bike in running shape. Not only did I want to resurrect this bike and save it from the scrapyard because it was the bike that I'd learned how to ride on, I also wanted to show people that with a little bit of money and a lot of labor, you can get a really cheap bike. You can, you can get into motorcycle riding for less than $100. This little Honda is now awake from its hibernation and it's once again ready to take on its new life. To be honest, it better be because we've got big plans for this bike. All right, so the Honda Magna, the, the 8300 Magna, is actually a pretty big deal back in its day. It's one of the most powerful motorcycles of its time, claiming 80 horsepower. That's a, that's a big deal. I mean, 80 horsepower now is still pretty respectable for, for a lot of you know, cruiser and touring bikes. We have an appointment at the dyno place. We're gonna see, how, uh, see what kind of horsepower it's still putting out. Uh, hopefully it makes it there. We'll see. All right, so here's the deal. Sean texted me last night at about nine o'clock. I was in my pajamas sitting on the recliner. And he said, is this bike gonna be ready to ride today? Mm, not sure. So what do I do? I get up off the recliner and go out to work. Worked on it till about 11 o'clock and then I woke up again at five o'clock this morning, back out in the shop and try to get this thing running right so we can go do a dyno run today. It's running okay, it's not running great, but Spend a lot of time at it, and we're going to see what happens anyway. This thing is running awesome. I mean, I think it could be a little bit better. I don't think it's at 100%, maybe 80%, but it's good enough. I, I, I do think that the more I run it, the better it's going to feel. It just doesn't want to doesn't have any power anymore. Oh, come on. All right, so even though the bike's not running that great, it's it's still running, and I'm super excited. Uh, this is pretty reminiscent of riding the of riding bikes when I was young. Uh, my bikes rarely were perfect. They, they were never perfect, and they rarely ran 100%, but I was still on two wheels. There's so much to love about this bike. I'm hoping it starts to run better. It, it really feels like it's not getting enough fuel. When you stop and sit for a little while, it seems to run better for the next couple hundred yards. But then after, when you get on it for a little while, it seems to bog down. I'm hoping that the dyno tech is cool and kind of lets us tinker with it and kind of works with us because this bike is probably one of the crummiest bikes he's ever seen on the dyno. But the best thing about it is, this is motorcycle riding. This is part of riding bikes. This is part of the fun. This is part of this is part of the movement. This is part of the culture. And this is part of the experience. If you never froze your hands and legs off on a motorcycle that you weren't sure was going to make it to your destination, I'm not even sure if you ride motorcycles. So, my hands started to freeze. I I kind of wimped out. And we decided, you know what, let's just let's just get there safely. Let's just put the bike on the back of the van and and get it there and try to fix it on the dyno and see how see how it goes. Well, this video is saved by tank straps. Like always. Tank straps, the only way to transport. You're barely running first motorcycle. Those uh those big giant homes right there, those are all Milton Hershey kid homes. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So like kids that have orphans or kids that are missing a parent, they have the ability to go to Milton Hershey School for absolutely free, and they stay in one of those homes. And there's like a, there's like a couple parents that that stay there and they keep an eye on the kids, and and uh, it's a killer. It's an amazing opportunity. They have tons of them, maybe hundreds of these homes, faci facilitating these uh, underprivileged children.
so this thing sat for about 13 years. We spent a bunch of time, we got it running, it run pretty good. Uh, I was driving over here, I was kind of bogging down at the higher RPMs. So the fuel pump is actually, the tank's actually down here. Okay. It pumps it up into the carbs. Um, so when it sits for a little while, it'll fire and it'll be great. But then if you run it for a little while, then it starts to bog down. Any chance you guys have like a uh, like a gravity fuel bag? We can just yeah. We can, we can, here's the fuel perch. Plug fuel right into there. It goes in the carburetor. Be a gravity bag. I think we give it all the fuel it needs, and then it can actually get a decent pool. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go find it. I have one that I can pressurize too. Oh, we can do like three or four psi from. Oh, pressure. that'd be awesome. Yeah, cool. But I mean, apparently back when this thing started, its life uh, in '83 was pushing like, around 80 horsepower. Mm -hmm. What's your uh, what's your guess? Are they gonna pull? You seen a lot of bikes? I don't know. It might still get around right around that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll see. Cool, man. <laughs>I was in school we had a dyno class and it was sponsored by uh, Suzuki and Yoshimura. It was a lot of fun. Did a lot of cool stuff on the dyno. So he couldn't find the coils. The coils under, under the tank. We're going to pull it up. He's got to connect to it. Why does he have to connect to the coils? He wants to get an RPM reading. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, sometimes you might feel like you take a bike like this to a, to a Harley dealership and you're going to be like, oh, it's some stupid, you know, not a Harley and they don't care about it. He's treating those great. Yeah. yeah. Bike he's guys are bike guys. He's man. super excited about it. So I'm Clean Look signal. I wonder if that was pinched. Know that line. Yeah. That would definitely Look. mess you up. Yeah, oh, look at that right there. Shoot. That would make sense why we're not getting the right amount of fuel. Yeah. To the bike. Dude, that, that that's, be, that's a couple that of might be the reason. I wonder what's going on. What do you ride, Brandon? Uh, I got a 2000 Super Glide Sport. It's actually upstairs. I got to do just some like general maintenance stuff, fixing it. There's upstairs? Yeah, we got mezzanine up there. Oh, cool. Yeah, right now, I'm probably, I don't know, five or six. But usually it's just damage bikes that go up there. Yeah. Super glad sport. That's a fairly rare bike, isn't it? Anymore, yeah. 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 Okay, uh, uh, hold on a second. So just in case you've never been to a dyno, it's loud, it's got powerful ventilation systems, big fans blowing in, it's real windy, and you got a bunch of guys just grunting and yelling power. It's just like when I'm at the dentist. Last time it worked kind of good, right? Yeah, that's just going all the way down to first gear. I think it's the slides aren't opening, because I don't think it's fuel. I mean, it'll it'll go as long as it doesn't have too much mechanical advantage, like it's really high load. Right, right. They don't want to do it, so I... It's one of those, it was running great <coughs> on the bench. We all, I bet it is. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. But see, as that, because the plates, like as that slides open, and if it's only opening a little bit, we can run it with no load just fine. But when mm -hmm. we really need to get mile per hour and load going, we need, yeah. you know, full airflow. Yeah. And it seems like it's just air is just shutting off on it. Yeah. I think fuel's doing okay because it's not breaking up too bad. Making good power. What kind of power eight eight horsepower, nine and a half foot pound torque. No, yeah, no. it's having a hard time. No, oh, <laughs> you can't even get double digits. No, come on, dude, that's that's pretty bad. So we got a whopping eight horsepower. Pretty good. It's not bad. I'm, I'm actually surprised it was as quick with eight horsepower. <laughs> I mean, eight horsepower compared to eighty horsepower is a big difference. So we're gonna win one thing for sure. Lowest dyno numbers ever produced. Yeah, have you had any lower dyno this? numbers than this? Dino. Oh, bicycles. <laughs> Are you serious? You got to put a yeah. bicycle on here? Uh -huh. Yeah, what? manpower. What'd you guys get? We got like 10. 10 <laughs> double digits. No! No, come on! Robin's salt in that wound, man. Oh. All right, so right now it looks like, it seems like the slides are not opening up completely, which is not letting enough fuel and air into the cylinders. So we pulled, we pulled the two easiest ones to get to because it's a V4, some of them are hard to get to. We, we pulled the two easiest ones out. They actually look pretty good. We put them back in, we, we, we make sure that they're seated properly and we're gonna try to do another dyno run. See if we can get some more horsepower, at least something more than eight horsepower. What's the most horsepower you ever pulled on this dyno? I don't know if we ever had, but way back when we had the destroyers were going, I think that was on here, and that made like 156 horsepower. Oh, really? 
Yeah, not not a whole lot. We don't get a crazy amount of like exotic build stuff. Mm. It's a lot of just normal builds and budget stuff. Some potential. There's been some bikes on here that have had crazy potential, but they ended up being like show bikes. You never had any sport bikes on here pulling 200? Yeah, we did a couple. We had a couple back in the day ZX 10 R's. Yeah. That some of the, the other technicians had. They, they did pretty good. But as, as twin stuff bikes. goes, as twin, yeah, 156 is the highest we've seen. Yeah, I don't think these guys are lifting at all. It doesn't look bad though. We got 30 horsepower on that one that actually pulled. Oh, 30 horsepower? Yeah. We're still shutting down way too early. But that, that felt like fuel. Like it was running all right and then phew, off. Lost couldn't fuel. do it. Pretty big gaining power. Yeah. It is. So whatever we did, we did, something must have been just not right on them calves. I don't know. So we inspected the slides. They did not appear to be sticking and there were no holes or tears in the diaphragm. So we put them back in, we resat them and Something helped, something worked, because we hit, we had 30 horsepower opposed to eight, but it's still not running right. We need to see the slides in action to see if they're working. So we confirm that not all slides are opening up all the way. So we take more of the intake off to gain access to all four slides. Okay, are any of those coming to stick in or are they moving pretty good? No, they're moving just fine. They're a little lazy though. Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah, that one's doing pretty good. That other one's real. And I can yeah. feel some resistance. So if we can just reach in, <coughs> pop all these up at you know, one, two, three, four, and then yeah. keep it full throttle. Take a little, we might yeah. be able to get a good one. Good lights on. Yeah, okay. can. Yeah, it's gonna take three of us. I can do, well, I can do this one, or this. Can, get my, can you get that one? I can get my finger in there, but I can get a screwdriver down in there. I can get this one, I can get this one, and this one. All right. And then you're gonna drive. I'm but, hoping we can keep know. it strapped in, to be honest, once we get those things open. Oh, 50 miles. We can't leave here until it makes as much of a, as a Harley. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 883. It's got to at least hit a Harley number. All right, we got a plan. We're getting big horsepower right now. Great work with Brandon from Appalachian Harley Davidson. He was a super cool guy and really knew his stuff. We went from eight horsepower to 48 horsepower. Pretty good improvement, but it still has a lot more left in her. But we need to really dial in this carburetor issue, and then we'll be back to see what she really puts down. Hey, cool, Brandon. Yeah, hey, Thanks for thank your help, you. man. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be back with some other bikes. Cool. We'll get cool. some. Uh, we'll get some bigger numbers than this. Yeah, come and back anytime. We'll fix this and bring this one back. Yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be nice Try to, to get that it. 60, yeah. 70 horsepower. Yeah. I think it's got it in her. I do. I think so too. Yeah. Cool, man. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> now I gotta go pay my bill. While riding this bike back from the dyno, it gave me some time to reminisce about what, what this bike started for me and the opportunities that motorcycling opened up for me. The friendships I had around riding motorcycles. The job that I hated, but riding a motorcycle to and from work gave me the motivation to keep working. The experiences of riding through a new town that's just specifically unique when you're on a motorcycle. The girl that I married that started with me asking her to go on a ride on my bike. The company that I built around selling and riding motorcycles. 
my kids that sit on my lap and ride around the yard telling me to go faster. I love this bike. Ah, come on! I hate this stupid bike. Oh, there we go. There we go, we're back in business. All right guys, that wraps it up. We have a lot more bikes coming up. We have a lot more fun coming up this next year. Guys, you know what? Don't forget to subscribe. And you guys that are subscribed, do notifications. I know you're not doing notifications. YouTube tells me you're not doing notifications. Check this next video. We'll see you guys later.